I remember being like five and like my parents like giving me money to go to the corner store to get milk and like that's such a vivid memory because it was like the first time I got, I was like tasked with going and doing something by myself as a little kid. And you just, it's just like a little safe place, a part of the community. We weren't prepared. No. We weren't prepared to do this. We had had a business plan, but it was hypothetical. The amount of money we needed was insane. No bank wants to loan hospitality, especially like first time hospitality owners. So that was pretty much out of the question. I was like, if I don't quit my job, then I won't be able to put the full amount of time that I need to into this. It was like the day the after. The day after I quit my job, we yeah. Maggie sent me this listing from Facebook Marketplace. We just was like, let's just go and check it out. I mean, it's good experience. Yeah. So we checked it out and uh, we really connected with the place and we connected with the landlords. We don't have any sort of construction experience or anything. We, we cobbled together sort of a uh, floor plan. Mm -hmm. Then we wanted to like transition into a cocktail bar at night and Vancouver zoning is a little bit more restrictive than we had hoped. <laughs> We always wanted it to be sort of still neighborhood and community focused. Yes. Like I, the idea of just having a little wine bar or cocktail bar like in, in the neighborhood that doesn't open late, isn't like a party place or anything, but it's just somewhere you can go to have a nice glass of wine or a beautiful cocktail with, with someone. And that's it. it's sad that it's not super easy to do that. We have to put that on the back burner for the time being. We got rejected um, for our uh, business license uh, because our floor plan looked too much like a cafe. And, they, they, and, and we're not zoned to be a cafe, we're zoned to be a, a neighborhood grocery store and that's it. <laughs> so it got rejected, we had to sort of um, maximize the retail, make it much more retail oriented. And then that got accepted finally. <laughs> After help with the city councillor as well, yeah. which we were very lucky on being able to meet while we were painting outside. She just sort of randomly stopped by on a bicycle and introduced herself to us and then gave her, us her card and we ended up definitely being very grateful that we knew her <laughs> because we, yeah, we just like, we, we had been trying to email the city, call the city for weeks and they were just, they're just ignoring us. Yeah, they left us on red basically yeah. for a whole month. Every single time we were doing work outside painting, like we would be stopped every two, two to three minutes, basically, by someone asking what's going in there and getting some information. And it was really lovely a way to meet everybody so so early on. It's been really wholesome of how much the community has come out in support. It's really nice. Yeah, they they if they turned out in droves in the opening weekend, like. Too yeah. many of them, <laughs> almost. Oh, I shouldn't say that, but we were just so <laughs> unprepared for yeah. the amount of support that we received in the opening weekend. And then just from there, I mean, we're still meeting people who, they say, oh, we live in the area, we've been waiting for you to open for so long. Yeah. So it was almost a good thing that it took so long for us to open because it created hype, <laughs> it created <laughs> buzz. <laughs> the community is just amazing. Yeah. Like, I mean, Vancouver has a lot of great communities, but I think this East Van community is pretty special yeah. in how they support each other. Having strangers sitting in here and meeting each other and then having a chat for like 30 minutes mm -hmm. is like such a nice thing to see. And like, you don't see it a lot. You don't anymore. see it a lot in Vancouver. And so to be able to create a space that that can happen and obviously within the community that already exists is just really, really nice. So like, we wanted to we want to, we want to keep keep things like this here we want we want to encourage people to open them up or encourage the city to make them easier to be open in other neighborhoods and other communities mm -hmm. like yeah creating more 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 of this